This is STV News. I'm Jesse Fichet. And I'm Evan Berwick. Welcome to another new and exciting season on STV News. We'll now be broadcasting year-round, so there's plenty to look forward to for the show. Summer has finally come to an end as the 2011-2012 school year begins. Although we're seniors now, I'm going to miss summer. What'd you do on vacation, Evan? Well, you know, I bought my 1969 Ford LTD. It's out there right now. I uh, cleaned it up, made it look pretty nice. Uh, took a lot of time. How about you? Um, I got my first accident, I got my first ticket, I got pulled over for the first time, and I danced a lot. Nice. Although it was a great summer, I couldn't be happier to start school and our senior year. Class of 2012 is taking over the school. Yeah, those freshmen better be careful in the halls. I wonder how they feel about being back in the bottom of the school again, you know, the new kids in the block. Don't worry, Evan. Andrew has some advice and tips for the class of 2015. With the new year comes new classes and, of course, new freshmen. And like the freshmen before them, they're lost and don't know what to do. All right, freshmen, we know you're new to the school, so here are some important places. This is the library. This is where you get books and do projects and study. Freshmen, this is a nurse's office right here. This is where you go if you feel sick or if you have any injuries or whatever. This is the pool right here. This is where you go if you're on the swim team. This is guidance right here. This is where you come if you want to switch classes or if you feel troubled in any. What advice do you have for the upcoming freshmen? Um, there's not a lot of advice you can give. Uh, stay away from the seniors. Uh, don't clog the hallways. And especially, yeah, stay away from the seniors at lunch. They'll throw stuff at you. <laughs> don't piss me off because I will freak out. Look at the freshmen. So with SCV News, I'm Andrew Barrera, and this is for you, freshmen. Wow, what a great story. I sure wish all the freshmen and underclassmen good luck in their future endeavors. They aren't the only ones excited to be back at school. Let's take a look around SHS as the new school year begins. The floors are polished, rooms are clean, and teachers and students are anxious to get started. We talked to students about what they're looking forward to the most this school year. What are you guys looking forward to the most this school year? I'm looking forward to all my electives with all my fun teachers and uh, screwing around, having a good time, not worry about having to work hard to graduate. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, graduating, yeah. you know, having a good year and just graduating. Uh, I would have to say Spirit Week. Uh, I'd say Spirit Week and the fun things in the high school like that. What are you looking forward to the most this school year? A very safe and productive year. Sounds good to me. Mr. Madeira did a phenomenal job polishing the gym floors and hallways along with the other custodians. They put in tons of hard work before students filled the hallways, classrooms, and also the cafeteria. The 2011-2012 school year looks extremely promising and there are many events and activities to be looking forward to now that classes are busy, lockers are in use, and students arrive back at Seekonk High School. Good luck to everyone this school year. And for STV News, this is Jesse Pichet. Jesse, this is better than Christmas. Evan, what are you talking about? What, you haven't heard? Heard about what? Uh, about the new MacBooks, of course. I can't believe you didn't hear about them. It's not my fault. I mean, maybe you should do a story about them or something. Jesse, I already did. The Seekonk High School's television production department has recently received a new batch of computers. These are 13-inch MacBook Pros. We're going to investigate in how they're doing with their new computers and how they're benefiting the department as a whole. These new MacBooks are impressive. Upon our first impression, they were so sleek looking, they felt great with the aluminum, and they have a really durable, solid build to them. So Mr. Moran, how do you feel about the addition of new MacBook Pros in the television studio? 
Uh, the new MacBook Pros are going to be make life a lot easier for the students. Uh, they're going to be faster. Uh, they're going to be able to run uh, the software much better than the, than the older versions of the of the computers we had. During a discussion uh, with Mr. Moran, he noted how fast the computer shut down. He also noted that in a classroom environment, this can be very beneficial. Usable class time has now increased greatly. Cleaner, but I'm I'm pretty pumped to have them, and uh, I'm you know thankful for the school department for getting them for us. These machines start up really fast, and the impressive thing is that they shut down even faster, under three seconds. The television department feels that the new computers will increase student enrollment in the classes. I think it will make it easier. The computers might be a little bit faster, make it everything, everyone's life a little bit easier. The television production department is definitely benefiting from the addition of these new computers. They're much faster make editing much quicker. For STV News... I'm Evan Berwick, and this is how fast they shut down. Want to know what's even more exciting than MacBooks? The senior kickoff. The class of 2012 really got the party started yesterday at our senior kickoff lunch. Pizza, ice cream, cotton candy, what more could you ask for? Seniors had it all as they took over the cafeteria for their senior kickoff. This annual event for seniors took place yesterday as the class of 2012 got the year started the right way. We had a chance to ask the advisors of this class what this amazing experience was all about. What is Senior Kickoff? Senior Kickoff is a lunch exclusively for seniors. Um, pizza, popsicles, cotton candy, thanks to the O'Hallorans, and um, just the time to be together and the pack and uh, enjoy lunch together to start the senior year. And why do we have Senior Kickoff? We have senior kickoff so that every all the seniors can get together at the beginning of the year to start off the year as a group um, and just get everything started. We got a lot of activities we're going to be doing this year: um, senior supper, spirit week, you know, prom, everything. So just to get us together and start off as a group. Without the help of the senior class advisors, the parent advisory committee, the O'Hallorans, and the school itself, this memorable kickoff wouldn't be possible. All the seniors had a great time and couldn't ask for anything more. The class of 2012 is already looking forward to the rest of the events planned for them this year. For SCV News, I'm Jesse Pichet. <laughs> great job, Jess. I know we're the greatest class to ever walk the halls, but there's also some announcements we have for Seekonk High School. Next Thursday, the 22nd of September, is Seekonk High's open house at 6.30 p.m. Make sure all your parents show up. The seniors' cap and gown meeting is October 7th in the auditorium from 10.30 to 11.08 during advisory. And our first holiday is Columbus Day on October 10th, so enjoy that long weekend and stay safe. And stay tuned for more STV News. Disrespecting your relationship isn't cool. <sighs> Approximately one in four adolescents suffer from dating violence, both physically and mentally.
is it worth it? What would you rather do? Now that students are back in class, guidance has been extremely busy with new students, preparing seniors for college, and most importantly, schedule changes. We found some time to go down to guidance and see what all the hustle and bustle is about. I'm outside guidance right now, and at this time, it's really busy because students are trying to change their schedules and trying to rearrange their classes for a whole bunch of different reasons. Many students have had schedule changes. To change their schedule, students had to go to guidance office and sign up at the door of their counselor. Many people had to wait to be called in due to the overflow of students trying to change their schedule. Um, I changed my personal development to um, a computer class with uh, Ms. Paquette because that's one of my requirements I needed. So now I have to change my second semester schedule because that was supposed to be for second semester. So It's like a big mess now and I have to get permission from teachers and stuff. It's just a big hassle. It's just annoying. We caught up with Mr. Kennard to ask him about schedule changes. Uh, why are there so many schedule changes? Well, I think um, when students sign up for their classes in the spring, um, when the schedule runs, the courses, there are conflicts, and they can't get all the classes they signed up for. So they usually end up in a class that either they don't want or they, that they didn't sign up for, so they come down to make changes. The guidance counselors have been working constantly on calling the students down to try and fix their schedules. The last day to change your schedule is this Monday. For STV News, I'm Megan George. This year, the annual writing competition administered by the Lions Youth Speech Competition in conjunction with the Doors of the American Revolution is once again being offered. The competition is open to any student in grades 10, 11, or 12. You can get the information necessary to enter from Ms. Watley. This year, the topic is... How has a teacher changed my life? Last year, Dan Mendes got through two levels and won a savings bond. Maybe this year that could be you. But hurry down to guidance to learn how to enter because the deadline is October 24th. Early this Monday, the upperclassmen and sophomores had their class meetings. At the end of the day, the freshmen had theirs along with their speak mentors in the cafeteria. Discussed throughout all the class meetings were the themes of respect, bullying, and of course the altered school rules for this year. It strongly encourages students to get involved in their classes and run for student council. Students can visit their advisors for more information on their class elections. Don't forget, freshmen, this year your new advisors are Mr. Hugazil and Mr. Moran. I'm Andrew Barrera. Another new portion of STV News is our sports section. This week is busy as sporting events begin. Today, after school sports lineup is as follows. There's a girls field hockey game versus DR today at 3. After that, at 3.30 is an away game for the girls varsity girls soccer at Pontiquet. The boys have a home varsity game versus Pontiquet also at 3.30. The girls away varsity volleyball game versus Pontiquet is at 6 o'clock. And finally, the boys varsity football season opener is tonight against Bourne. Come and, show, come and show your support for the team. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Go Warriors! In further news, the Audio Visual Club is having their first meeting next Wednesday. Anyone looking to sign up or join should come to the meeting. They're looking for new members. Looks like we have a lot to look forward to this year. For STV News, I'm Jesse Pichet. And I'm Evan Berwick. And that's it for STV News. Remember, freshmen, you better watch out. Class of 2012, let's go! Get out of here!